Hey guys, let's start with a quick demo of me talking to an AI voice receptionist at a dental clinic. Hello, I am Mary, your virtual assistant from the Bazar Dental Clinic. How can I help you? Hi, what is your pricing for teeth whitening? Teeth whitening at Bazar Dental Clinic is priced between $250 and $500 for both in-office and take-home options. The exact cost may vary depending on the complexity of the procedure and the specific treatment plan recommended by our dental professionals. Okay, uh, thanks. And is it possible to book an appointment? Yes, it is possible to schedule an appointment at Bowser's Dental Clinic. Our operating hours are as follows. Monday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this is a great way to increase conversions and bookings for your business without hiring additional employees. This AI bot will work for you during after work hours, on weekends, basically 24 seven. It doesn't call in sick, it speaks different languages and it can handle hundreds of calls simultaneously at a fraction of the cost of hiring just one human employee. I know the owner of a dental clinic who introduced this kind of solution into their business and they doubled the amount of appointments in just one month. A surprise for him was realizing how much revenue they were losing because of missed calls and leads. So just give it a try, really, at least explore how it works and whether it can be useful for you or not. In this video, I'll of course demonstrate how to build an AI voice assistant from scratch. As always, step by step, you don't have to code anything, just copy and paste what you see on my screen. All the required templates and resources will be attached in the video description. I'm also going to show you how to make the necessary changes to adapt the system to your business. And if you struggle to set up and support the system yourself, reach out to me directly and our dedicated full-time developer will deliver a system like this custom built for your business. And when I say custom built, I mean it will be integrated into your calendar, into your CRM. It would be able to book appointments directly into your system and you'd be able to check the call summaries or the entire transcripts. So if you're interested, use the contact form in the description below and let's get in touch. All right, for this tutorial, we'll be using VoiceFlow to create a chatbot, give it a persona and upload the knowledge base, then wrap it as a backend to host the code, implementing the functionality of the assistant and finally, we'll link all of it to Twilio to be able to receive phone calls. So once you've signed up with VoiceFlow, let's create a new assistant, give it a name, say voice assistant, select the modality, chat in our case, and language English, click continue, and create new assistant. By default, you'll have this template created by VoiceFlow. Just delete all that and keep only start. Now we're gonna add some knowledge base. On the left-hand side, click on the content icon, then knowledge and add data source. There are different types of data source available. It can be in the form of plain text, files, URLs, or a sitemap. For example, if you click on sitemap, you can add a sitemap URL and VoiceFlow will crawl the data from the site. Just paste the website URL and at the end add sitemap.xml and it will import all of the URLs from the site. Unfortunately, not every site would have a sitemap. So in my case, I'll use plain text option. I have it prepared already, so I'll just copy and paste a sample knowledge base for a dental clinic and click import. Next we need to assign a persona to this assistant. Click on this gear button at the top. And here we can, first of all, select the AI model. I'm gonna leave um, GPT 3.5 Turbo. And at the bottom, you'll see system window. It says, give the system a role that it should play when creating your answers. I'm gonna delete the default one and paste my instructions for a virtual assistant that is designed to assist with queries related to my imaginary Bosar Dental Clinic. Provide the relevant guidelines and click save. Okay, moving on to Replit. Once you sign up, use the Replit link from the video description and you'll get to this template. Click on the use template button, give it a name and click use template. Now you should get this pop-up saying configure missing secret values. Click manage secrets and here you need to paste your VoiceFlow secret API key. Now, if you don't do this, this system won't work. This is how we link Replit to our VoiceFlow assistant. Head back to VoiceFlow. On the left-hand side, click on the integration icon. And from here, you can copy your API key. Paste it as a value in Replit 
and click Add Secret. Now, in Replit, to make the required changes, go to Source, then IVR, and the handler.js. Here, you'll find the whole system prompt again. You need to adapt it to your requirements. Go through the whole text and feel free to change it. Make sure you change the names, like here you have Bossar Dental. Also, you have assistant response. This is the first phrase the bot would say when someone calls. So make sure to change it as well. And once done, click stop and run again, just to update the code. That's pretty much all the changes you need to do in Replit. And the last step is to connect it to Twilio. Once you sign up with Twilio, go to phone numbers, then click manage, and you can either add your existing number or buy one from Twilio. Just click buy a number and it is very affordable here. Once you have an active one, click on the number and you'll be able to configure it on this page. The only change you need to make here is to replace the URL under a call comes in section. Switch back to Replit, click on the replit.dev and copy the dev URL from here. That's how we link Twilio to, to our system. When pasting this link to Twilio, make sure you add to the end of the URL slash IVR slash launch. If you don't do this, the system will not work. Once done, scroll down, save configuration, and that's it. Now we can call this Twilio number and test it out. A few things to keep in mind. If you use a Twilio trial account, you need to verify the caller ID first to be able to call this number, otherwise it will say that the number is unavailable. And if the assistant doesn't reply as expected, try modifying the knowledge base and the persona instructions until you get the right answers. Again, if you want us to build a more advanced AI assistant for your business, get in touch and let's discuss it. Also, check out my other tutorials. I have a similar one, but instead of calls, I integrate it into SMS text messages and I also use Twilio for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to you, but it means a lot to me. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.